Priest Planet. It's a Tarot Priest. I'm back with another Pick a Card reading. In today's Pick a Card reading, I'm going to be looking at where you will be one year from now. So I just want you guys to know that this video is timeless. So if you guys do happen to see this a month, two months, or even a year from now, just keep in mind that this video is timeless. I also wanted to extend my love and appreciation to all of you guys, my new subscribers, my old subscribers, my notification gang. I'm extremely connected to every single person that reaches out to me. Um, as I do believe that if you have landed on my channel or any of my videos, that the universe, God, whatever you believe in, has sent you here for messages that you may need to hear. So if you're new, welcome to the planet where we embrace love, happiness, freedom, and most importantly, truth. So for the people who are, subscribe to my Patreon planet. I will be showing my gratitude and having your guys' name in the description box of every single video that I post. I will be opening classes for my online tarot course in November, so be on the lookout for that if you guys do want to sign up with your email to receive notifications for enrollment and other updates. If you guys don't already follow me on Instagram or my Facebook fan page, be sure to follow and subscribe. It's the Tarot Priest. And last but not least, I just want you guys to know that I have written a book. Um, it's been about a year now. It's in final print mode, so I'm extremely excited for that. This is a self-help book and it's all about freedom mentally, spiritually, and financial freedom. It is a self-help book and it is literally one of my favorite projects that I've ever worked on. So if you guys would like some updates on the book and when the book is gonna be released, please look down below in the description box. All right, so here is a close-up shot of all four of the elephants. All right, pick the stone that you feel like is resonating or pulling towards you. We have deck number one, which is the marble gray elephant. Deck number two, which is the green elephant. Deck number three, which is the rose pink elephant. And deck number four, which is the brownish orange elephant. All right, let's hop into today's reading and see where you guys will be one year from now. All right, if you guys chose the first elephant, which is the marble gray and white elephant, this is your reading and where you will be one year from today. All right, we have past life, release your past life karma. We have passion. We have the time has come. This time is to act now. The time is to act now. And we also have, you have a mighty shield. So if you guys chose deck number one, it looks as if you will be becoming more in tune with yourself. Uh, but one year from now, it seems as if you are going through a transformation this next year and clearing a lot of your karma and healing your past life. I see you guys one year from now being a lot more ambitious or motivated to do the things that you desire. fertility so some of you guys I mean could get pregnant or have a baby or conceive a child but for the most part I feel like this is more of like a passion project or something that you guys are working on it's almost like for this next year you will be clearing the path and preparing to do what it is that you really want to do so yeah with the creative energy fertility is not just conceiving a child, but also birthing out new ideas, new projects. So it's almost like you'll be more ambitious and driven to do what it is that you desire the most. I feel like in a year from now, you'll also be a lot wiser. Some of you have dealt with a lot and that's because you're, you're still almost like you're still clearing the past life energy that you guys have went through or embodied. So if you guys are questioning why things are happening the way they are, it seems as if you are it's like you're trying to better yourself, but something keeps coming up. And uh, what I'm getting with that is just that you have some past life karmic that is on your life still. And you guys will be taking action or you'll be taking more action a year from now. So stepping and walking in your power. Yeah, exactly. So it's almost like the worst is behind you. 
a lot of the reasons why you guys went through what you went through is because you weren't being true to yourself or true to your heart or true to the desires that you guys actually had. A lot of you, I'm also picking up that you care too much about what people think. Um, you're breaking free from that. In a year from now, you'll break free from that and you'll start acting more on the things that you really truly desire. There are a lot of things that have happened. And again, it's like you guys have been through some stuff. But it's not necessarily because of you. It's because of who you are. So a year from now, you'll be looking back. I feel like you're going to evolve and pass a lot of your friends also. Evolving out of the friendship tribe that you're currently in and growing. Um, let's see. Yeah, you've been through a lot. So, some of you, it's like the years get worse. It's like when we come towards the end of the year, you're like, thank God this year is over. You're excited for the new year. And once you get into the middle of the year, it's the same thing. It's because you're on a karmic cycle. So, next, a year from now, you'll be breaking this karmic cycle. And how you break this cycle is going after the things that you really desire and the things that you're inspired to do. There's no time anymore to waste, to wait for things to happen. So you guys have been contemplating and waiting for a better year, but I'm hearing that in a year from now, you will be creating that better year. So instead of just hoping that things will change, you will change them. You will take action and change them. So I see you more walking in your power. Also with the inner strength, you're moving back to wholeness, recognizing that you have power. So a year from now, this is all about power and passion for you guys. Deck number one, passion. But also I feel like a year from now, you'll look back and you'll question why you did the things that you did. But I'm letting you know now to just forgive yourself and let that go so that you can move forward and create the life that you were meant to create. Uh, a year from now, it's almost like you're just fed up. You're like, I'm done. I'm ready for something new. I'm ready for a change. I recognize that I have power. So this is almost like you coming into a place of actualization and understanding who you are. And it is because of the power that you have that you are connected to karmic cycles. Karmic cycles could be anything. It could be divorce that's prominent in your family. It could be um, children that don't graduate from high school, children who don't uh, really have a desire to do much or stay with the same crowds or just generational curses that you guys will be setting an example on how to break that. So a year from now, people will be looking at you like, who is this person? Because I don't remember you being this person one year ago. A lot for you, for you I'm hearing too that you're going to have to leave behind some people in the next year. A year from now, it's like you don't really want to let go of certain people in your life, but they're actually a weight. So I see you wanting to take the leap of faith, but there's these weights that are hanging on the bottom of your feet. And these weights are certain friends, drama, low vibrational energy, and even family members for some of you. And so even the unending sadness of looking back, it's like you would love to go on this journey of happiness with the people that you love the most. But a year from now, I do see you being more of a leader and taking action towards the things that actually excite you and not being so concerned about the people around you. Um, you'll be grieving. There are some regrets, but that's why I'm letting you guys know now to just forgive yourself and move forward. Let's see what else you have going on. Fertility, creating new projects, passion projects honor the masculine. So yes, respecting men, embracing the masculine divine. So some of you are, it doesn't really matter if you're a woman or a man, like I always say, spirit has no gender, but some of you are just, are, it's weird. You're healing from the things that men have done to you. You know how, okay, you guys, I'm just letting you know, I'm the tarot priest. So this, there's no shallow surface, no shallow surface shit here. Okay, this is all deep stuff. I feel like some things have happened to a few of you um, that men have hurt you. And so in the next year, you will be healed from that. And that's probably what the karmic is for some of you. Um, fathers, brothers, uncles, or just a lack of having a good masculine role model uh, for a few of you. And so 
it's when you forgive and let these things go that you actually walk in your power. And so the yin and yang, you guys, if you are a female or have feminine energy and you're a male, then you're learning how to embrace the masculine side of you, which is walking in your power, taking back that power and walking and walking in it by making empowered decisions for yourself. And so it's almost like for you, deck one, your plane has been piloted by another person and your plane is your destiny. So you've let other people actually take the wheel on where you are gonna go in your destiny. And so now, a year from now, you're just like, no, I'm in control of my own life now. This is my destiny. I have the power to do so. You have the strength, you have the passion to do it. And so a year from now, you will be breaking free from allowing others to create your destiny. That rhymed. So yeah. And a lot of this lack of strength that you guys have had or have been going through is because of the lack of masculine energy around you. Um, and so there is a good combination of yin and yang, which is masculine and feminine, that we all really need in our life to accomplish the things that we want the most. All right, let's see what else you guys have. Cosmic Gateway, Auras. Your thoughts are magnetic and powerful. Miraculous changes are occurring. Powerful, power and passion. That's what it is all about a year from now for you guys. Power and passion. So you guys are also in one year from now, you will understand how to tap into this power. So with the Cosmic Gateway, you'll have access to doing things that you truly desire to do. And you will have access to this gateway. And this is all about you walking in your power, doing what excites you, passion projects, creation, fertility, creative energy, faith. Yeah, you guys have been through a lot, a lot. And some of you are looking for a breakthrough with this past life. You actually have an old soul and deep wisdom. And you're here to heal that. There's a lot of family issues too that I'm feeling for you all. If there is a lack of family foundation, uh, you're also going to be doing that you're also going to be healing that mending it back and again it's this father absence that i keep picking up on this divine masculine absence um a lot of you also are even going to be in better relationships in a year because of this that needs to be healed um having faith trust the good in yourself and others see the light in the world so yes you're learning to have faith based on the things that you guys have been through and the inner strength but i'm also hearing that everything that you've been through was for you to find this inner strength and passion and the power. So a year from now, you're looking back, but you have you have an understanding of why things happen. So you're a lot more freer and you're just kind of like a beast, like going after what it is that you want, letting things go from the past, letting the past go, choosing to live in the present moment, choosing to create a future for yourself. So this is all about empowerment a year from now. The age of life, you've been training for this for a lifetime, like I just said. So yes, your year from now, it looks like a breakthrough for a lot of you. A lot of you are also going to be creating businesses or, have, or will be getting your business off the ground a year from now. So relationships are doing better. Some of you will be in a healthy relationship a year from now. I feel that for a lot of you. Once I get into the tarot, I'll be able to clarify more. But I feel like this is more of like a passion project, financial stability, and going after what it is that you want. You guys have allowed too many people to tell you no and allow that door shutting in your face to stop you. Next year, you're going full force. The year 2020 is the year of manifestation, so don't forget that. So you've been training for this. Trust your path. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? Again, this is about taking a leap of faith. Taking a leap of faith. A year from now, you will be doing things that you thought you never would have done. Some of you guys, if you guys had this thought of jumping out of a plane for fun, do it. <laughs> and I'm just encouraging you guys to go after the things that really put you on edge. Facing your fears, okay? A year from now. Do the things that you've wanted to do, and that's what you'll be doing a year from now, is doing the things that you truly, truly desire and have a passion to do. And so trust in your path. 
Some of you even right now feel like as if you're on the wrong path or confused on which path to take. And I'm hearing that you guys are still on the right path, but it's all also going to come down to trusting your higher self and trusting source again, because this path is not clear physically. You're not going to be able to see this path with your eyes and just say, okay, this is, de this is the way it is going to take you guys opening up your spiritual eye and trusting in something other than yourself. Cause unfortunately a lot of us have built plans and wondered why they failed because they were our plan but divine source god whatever you believe in has a plan that will actually excite you and, and bring you passion and excitement that you guys are learning how to to take so right now into a year you're learning how to trust the path in that year you will already be on that path you will literally be on the victory lines of that path the sun card the sun card so you guys could be a leo you don't have to be I'm really feeling like you guys have been through a lot and you are looking for a breakthrough. In a year from now, you will be much happier and you will be at that breakthrough. Right now, it's like you're going through and then the year you land with happiness and having a break from these things that you guys have been going through. Yeah, the high priestess. So a lot of it was to get you guys to come back to a place of faith and having inner strength. It's almost like you guys are perfectly equipped for the things that you're currently going through. So a year from now, all of this will make sense. You will be much more in tune with yourself and life and with your spirituality. Some of you have lost the path of spirituality, but with the high priestess, I feel as though a year from now, you will be way more in tune spiritually. Some of you guys are mystics and teachers. You will learn that over the next year. In a year, you will know that. Yeah, Queen of Wands, very creative. So you guys could have fire in your chart, Aries, Leo, Sag. But with the Queen of Wands, again, this is creative energy, creating something new. Um, a few of you guys, I do see you conceiving a child. So some of you who have been trying or maybe have not been trying, I do see that in a year from now, having a child. Also with the Queen of Wands, creating more things that make you happy, less things that don't make you happy. So a year from now, you will be again walking in that power. Yeah, King of Swords. So we have two leaders already on the board, visionary. You will have, some of you are lost now, but I feel like in a year from now, you will have a vision of exactly where you want to be. And you'll know exactly what you're doing. You'll, you'll have your purpose. Some of you will figure out your purpose by then as well. Six of Cups. So, yeah, letting the past go a year from now. This is really big for you because what, what I'm feeling like with you guys is that you keep reliving the past and the things that have happened to you, and it's preventing you from moving forward. A year from now, all the things that are weighing you down, you will have let go. All of this is going to be let go. It's dead weight right now. A lot of you have so much past life that you guys are struggling with right now and fighting through. So a year from now, you will be much happier. Some of you, I do feel like you're gonna have kids. Again, with the Six of Cups. Or I should say child, a child. Four of Pentacles, so you will be more financially stable. And I also feel like you guys will understand money a lot better. But this tells me that a year from now, you will be very selfish in a good way. Uh, putting yourself first, again, focusing only on that. Yeah, five of wands, there's five of wands. There's a lot of adversity that you guys are struggling with right now. A lot of you are gonna be on your solo path a year from now. So creative projects, financial stability, selfishness, you have been giving too much of yourself to others. That in a year from now will have stopped. Again, because you're piloting your own plane. Five of Wands, it's a lot of drama that you guys are going to let go of. It's almost like you're tired of the bullshit a year from now. Yeah, I deserve financial stability. I deserve financial stability. A year from now, you will understand that you will be in a much financially secure place. Um, it's taking a while now, but you guys will get there. 
two of swords, whatever I decide, I trust the outcome. Yeah, you're no longer confused about which decision to make. Like I said, a lot of you are on this path and you're in the middle and you're like, should I go this way or should I go that way? Um, you're, you're understanding, you have more trust, you have more faith, you're way more spiritually connected a year from now. And a lot of you are mystic teachers and healers or spiritually connected. And a lot of you guys will be fulfilling your purpose in a year from now in 2020. No more confusion, no more mental confusion. If you guys are um, feeling as if you're suffering from depression or anxiety, you will be free from that a year from now. There's no more, there's no more mental confusion. Queen of Cups, I trust my knowing and I follow my heart again. Um, this, I feel like you guys, yeah. What did I just, I was just thinking this. Relationships for a lot of you, healthy relationships. We have the lover's card. You guys could be a Gemini. You don't have to be um, or, or be dealing with a Gemini. We have the king and the queen of cups. So you're working on trusting your knowing and following your heart and that you are your own anchor. So here's the deal, guys. For a lot of you that are single, a year from now, you will not be single. You will be connected with your divine, divine masculine, divine feminine, or your soulmate, all right? But what you're learning right now until you get to that year is that you don't need anybody, that you're your own anchor. Again, this is a king. This is embracing that masculine energy, understanding that um, you have a respect for it, you and, and you embrace it, and but you also understand that you're strong enough and independent enough to love yourself, be by yourself. It's that lesson that you guys are learning. And after you do that, trusting in your knowing and following your heart, it's gonna lead you right to your guys' soulmate. So a lot of you guys will be in union with your twin flame, divine feminine or divine masculine. And with the lover's card, I can't, I mean, we have counterpart energy here and a lot of emotions. That's probably why you guys are gonna have a child. Um, it's beautiful. The family structure is beautiful. The family is healing, um, but they're learning from you by taking over um, what it is that you really love to do. Your family is learning from that. Lover's card, I trust my knowing and make a commitment. So it is only through your higher self that you're, you're gonna be led down this path. So one year from now, you'll think of this video and you're like, wow, Tarot Priest told me that. Now that's starting to make sense. It's like, you're gonna look back and say, damn, I should have just followed my intuition. You guys are gonna make it there, but you'll understand that right now you're on that path. And how to get there is by trusting your intuition. It's gonna lead you right to your soulmate. Happiness, creative energy, a new child, breaking free from the past life and karma, the drama, the low vibration. Um, and yeah, even with this one, the Scared Beater Armor, you guys have a way different approach when it comes to the people who are taking from you. Like leeches. And so you'll have a shield, lover's card again. You'll be, some of you will be madly in love with yourself, but the final card, and I feel like overall energy for you, is the Fool card. I am guided and protected on my journey. Which journey? Down the path. You are down the path to um, figuring out how to get here right now. And so a year from now overall, you guys will be way in tune with spirituality and uh, more trusting and following in your your guide, your inner guidance, your inner self, having faith, clearing all of this, having passion, passion projects, passion, children, and a soulmate. You guys are also building a family a year from now for a lot of you. Um, but right now it's almost like you're getting prepared for this place. So you're cleansing and healing family wounds and karmic cycles. That's what's wait. That's what you're waiting on in order to come into union with your twin or your soulmate. But overall, uh, you guys will be very happy. So if you guys chose deck number one, don't forget to comment down below so I can get some comments back of encouragement. In the meantime, I'm going to move on to deck number two. All right, if you guys chose deck number two, this is your reading and where will you be one year from today? All right, so we have Orca Magic. So this is having access to infinite information. Some of you are getting into tarot or oracle or have thought about it. That is definitely for you. But a year from now, you will, you guys are unlocking something. It's almost like a key to infinite treasures. So you guys have been through a lot as well, but 
it was all also to get you to a place of expression. So a year from now, some of you are magicians, writers, authors, entrepreneurs, creators. A year from now, you will be there or starting your project. Some of you are just now unlocking this access of information. And genius, we have creativity, genius, writing, expression, Arctic flow. Some of you guys could be into film writing, writing movies, um, entertainment, starting a YouTube channel. All of that is going to happen a year from now. Friendship, yeah, you have a lot going on. Uh, first and foremost, it's passion, projects, and purpose. So you guys will be in a place of, again, unlocking this information on how to do this writing that script uh some of you are also meant to be stars it's almost like what are you guys waiting for okay butterflies and gloom so you guys are transforming so right now up until this year you're going through a transformation that's what we're waiting for so right now if you guys are questioning where you're at you are in a place of uh letting go of sadness looking forward towards uh happiness but also having hope having hope in the, the gifts that you have. Some of you have really big dreams and you're questioning if they're too big. A year from now, you will start manifesting these dreams. A lot of you are gonna be extremely financially successful a year from now. Um, I mean, it's pretty big. It's like buying your dream car, buying your dream house for a few of you guys. Those who are just now unlocking gifts, you will be on your way to manifesting that a year from now. Those who have already discovered your gifts and, and putting those into work, whether that's you being an author, like I said, an, an artist, putting your music out, creating, painting, writing. Um, some of you guys are directors, movie directors, script writers. I mean, reality TV. This is like really, really dope energy as far as creating. And it's because you have access. So right now, your sadness and everything that's going on is to get you to transform into this butterfly. So you're transforming, but it's you're releasing the, the um, sadness and unhappiness right now, once upon a midnight dream or dreary. But that's what I feel, once upon a midnight dream. It's almost like a year from now, you feel like you're dreaming as far as everything that has happened and manifest in your life. Some of you are gonna be really shocked at the things that you were able to manifest. Like, you're gonna be like, okay, I believe the manifestation, but this is crazy. Like, I've literally created my entire life. That's what you guys are gonna say a year from now. Also, I feel like the universe is gonna start sending people in um, that are on your energy. A lot of you are releasing old friendships, old relationships, straying away a lot of isolation and sanctuary so that you guys can get into this place of manifesting. So the universe, whatever you believe, is going to bring in your soul family and positive people. Some of you also, I'm hearing that you're hermits, that you need to get out and socialize and not being afraid of expressing yourself. So you will have a soul tribe or some of you will lead, lead a tribe. Yeah, support, ask help, get rest, nurturing yourself. So you guys are going through this transformation right now. It's gonna require you maybe some life coaching or some self-awareness or introspection. I was literally just talking to my sister yesterday and I told her that the person who goes through the most self-awareness and introspection and works on himself is the winner. A lot of us are running from dealing with the things that we need to deal with and let go of them, but it is the person who says, okay, what do I need to do to grow? And I'm open for that growth and I'm open for, for feedback and I really want to change. I'm seeking the necessary help, the videos, research, anything that I can to better myself is going to be a lot further than the rest of the crowd. So for you guys, there is no competition. The only competition is yourself. A year from now, you will realize that. You will understand that. Prosperity, yeah, like I just said. I mean, I'm not surprised with the green elephant. Elephants usually stand for prosperity and green so a lot of money coming to you a year from now but right now you guys are preparing and being open to receive some of you are not as open to receive abundance and so that that's what you're working on these limiting beliefs like 
well, why does pe why do people need so much money? Er, that's a limiting belief. There's nothing wrong with abundance and prosperity. You are made for prosperity, to create it, to attract it. A year from now, you will be very prosperous. Focus, yeah. You're focused on this project. For some of you, if you guys put the book on the back burner, the script, the movie script and things like that, stay focused on where spirit is taking you and your intuition and where your intuition is guiding you because so like i said some of you guys feel as if you're dreaming too much or too grand set your sights high so it is for a reason a lot of you will be accomplishing this and and receiving rewards for it karma releasing again um move beyond drama create your own path make room for good energy with the friendship card you're gonna have to take some time away from those friends who are like, well, how are you gonna do that? How are you gonna get the money to do that? A year from now, you're gonna be pretty solo. Your circle is getting smaller and smaller and smaller, and then it will expand with your soul family. So you guys, a year from now, will be calling in the people who are here that have good vibrations, that are motivating you to do the things that you wanna do, inspiring you, and telling you to go after your dreams. Now, another thing is because a year from now, you guys will be so prosperous. I wouldn't be surprised if some friends started coming back from childhood because of your prosperity and your awards and your accolades. So just be cautious of that and understand that you right now are creating your own path because you're the master of your own reality, the painter of your own masterpiece. A year from now, you will be creating that masterpiece. Magic manifesting again. You guys have a lot of dominant energy. It's like you're not backing down. Ne ne a year from now, you're like, this is what I want. This is what I'm going after. Nobody's standing my way. If you do, then beware because I'm going after what it is that I want. And so your dreams, your visions, and your goals are becoming a reality. Like I just said, stay focused. You're on the right path right now. Things right now up into that year are going to be a little weird because the universe, whatever you believe, is moving those people out of your life, moving the opportunities that are hindering. So some of you guys might experience financial constraints, and that is to prepare you for prosperity. So be prepared for that. Guide, a guide, mentor, or a trustworthy ally. So a lot of you right now, like I said, you may need a life coach or someone who can guide you on this journey so that you can go through these limiting beliefs because you're made to be great. A year from now, you will have mastered manifesting. And that's why I said, you're gonna blow your own mind when it comes to manifesting. It's gonna come in very quickly for you, okay? Um, you need trustworthy allies, right? Like I just said, a mentor or a guide. So you'll be getting closer to your intuition, your higher self, but I do see you having some type of coach or guide throughout this journey so that you can um, get there. You guys will get there. And I do see you seeking out a guide, even if it's a YouTuber, someone that you watch every day that inspires you or enlightens you on spirituality. You will be getting more closer to understanding who you are because these gifts that you have of manifesting, it's, it's understanding who you are that allows you the magic, again, magic. Um, man, your guys' life a year from now is gonna be like a fairy tale. You're not going to believe it. And I'm not just saying this because, you know, I wouldn't lie to you guys. I'm the tarot priest. So I would not lie. This is the truth. You guys have tapped in. You're tapping into some type of magic. And it is also because of understanding who you are that allows you the ability to manifest. So you're walking more in your power a year from now. Wisdom. Yeah. So you're, you're gaining wisdom. You're gaining clarity. And it's through the guides, it's through your searching, it's through understanding how to do this. Your dreams are coming true a year from now. Your dreams will have come true. Caution, weary, the magic. Again, all about magic, being cautious of your surroundings. Some of you have tapped into discernment energy, so you kind of know who these people are around you that are really not supportive of your dreams and aspirations and kind of want to just say, you know, why don't you just, you know, work here or do that? Why do you have to dream so big and be... Um, so extra, whatever they say, um, you're learning too that these people are not going with you. A year from now, sisterhood, mystic teacher, 
Some of you are tapping into being a mystic or a teacher or a priestess. I feel very heavily drawn to this deck too. So uh, we may be connected as we both go through this. Uh, beauty, devotion, priestess, mystic, and teacher. So you guys, I've kind of, you're already wise. You've learned a lot. You're almost ready, but a year from now, you're ready. This is what you've been preparing for is a year, this year. Um, and it's not just a year from now for you guys. It's 2020. 2020 is a year of manifestation. Play, have fun, celebrate. A lot of celebrating, a lot of traveling, a lot of money, a lot of everything that you guys want, you can literally have. And that's what you're learning a year from now. So you're playing more, you're being us, uh, you're celebrating more. Some of you are going to be going on cruises or traveling out of the country. So if you haven't get, got get if you haven't gotten your passport, make sure that you get your passport. Star, mother, how can you mother yourself? So you're nurturing yourself right now, preparing yourself. Um, again, being more independent, not depending on anyone else. Um, and going after what it is that you want to go after, but you're also very grounded a year from now. You're grounded physically and uh, spiritually. Judgment, yeah. Looking back on the things with compassion, not being hard on yourself as far as like why it took you guys so long to get started. Um, you will be going through a spiritual awakening right now up until that year. A year from now, you will be completely ready to go. Some of you before the year, I definitely feel like with the judgment card. Seven of Cups, yeah, dreams. It's usually illusions, but with the Seven of Cups, it's fantasy. All of this fantasy coming into play, a lot of magic, a lot of weird things happening. Ace of Swords, changing your perspective. Some of you guys have certain beliefs about magic. Limited beliefs are going to hinder you from um, having the ability to tap into this magic. A year from now, you will have a new perspective and a new clarity on life. You're not going to be the same person. Um, it's a pretty pro profound group. Luxury, abundance, nine of pentacles. Again, lots of money. Lots of money, houses, beach houses, condos, penthouses, you name it. You can have any of it. You're learning this a year from now as you're manifesting and seeing more prosperity. King of pentacles. Again, guys, I just randomly shuffle these decks. The fact that we have prosperity, nine of pentacles, and the king of pentacles, this is insanity amount of money coming to you. So be ready and be open to receive it. And that's why you have to be cautious about your surroundings. And then also having a guide. Um, so you guys will be entrepreneurs, CEOs, um, directors of the company, but it's way more than that. It's way more aspiring than a director at your company um, that you cur could currently be working at. If you guys have an idea, uh, that you guys have been sitting on, whether it's creating jewelry. Um, I even tell my clients who are looking at their purpose and career, if you love to cook, it could be cooking meals, preparing meals for people. Whatever it is that you feel like you enjoy doing that you're passionate about, then do that. Some of you are going to be starting up a retreat for people, getting people together, inspiring them, um, making a difference in the world. <laughs> It's crazy. Manifesting. Get that book out. Express yourself. Express yourself through poetry, books, movies, any way that you can. In a year from now, you will be expressing yourself entirely. Right now, you're finding your voice. You're finding the things that you want to do and understanding that you have the magic gift. Some of you haven't even awakened this gift yet. A year from now, it will be clear as day. Empress, some of you could be conceiving children. For a very few of you, but this is like birthing new ideas, new inspiration. Yes, creating new ideas, passion, purpose, birthing out and creating a new life for yourself, creating reality. You've tapped into it. Seven of Swords, it, there's some betrayal, there's some sneaky behavior. A year from now, people will be cut off or you'll be discovering some people that just simply were not for you as you thought they were. It's it's unfortunate because you guys are growing so rapidly. You have such a heart. You're going to have so much prosperity. It's not just because of who you are as far as manifesting. It's your heart that allows you the prosperous um, gold and desires that you guys will have. Um, but you will find out that some friends you can't trust and you have to leave behind. Page of Wands, the start of a new project. A few of you are just now starting it a year from now. Some of you have already started it. You're getting back on the path. 
in a year from now, you will have what you need. The devil could be a Capricorn like me. You don't have to be. Like I said, I feel like this deck is pre pretty resonant with me. I am free of whatever is holding me back. So this is what you're working out right now is setting yourself free from these limiting beliefs and whatever is holding you back. A year from now, you're free. I listen and trust my heart and follow my knowing, getting more connected to your higher self, source, guides, ten of wands. I love and care for myself first. Again, you guys will have worked very hard. You've been up sleepless nights. You've been dreaming about these goals and visions and desires that you have. Make sure that you take care of yourself. A year from now, uh, people are going to think that you're selfish because you're, you're taking care of yourself, doing the things that you've always wanted to do for yourself and not making it about everyone else. Higher font, I am ready to love and learn. You guys could be a Taurus. You don't have to be. Um, but with the higher font, you guys are breaking free also from religious beliefs or limited beliefs that are holding you back, especially when it comes to magic. Everyone has their own beliefs about that. So you guys will be open to uh, learning again because of the mystic and teacher. You guys will be teaching and educating, like I said, retreats. If you guys have been wanting to do that, definitely see a lot of education, manifest magic, magic and manifestation and money for you guys. Deck number two, magic, manifestation and money. That is your theme for a year from now. I manifest perfectly what I desire. I'm telling you guys, you're not going to believe it. You're going to be freaked out. Like, how the hell did this happen? Eight of Cups, I accept my situation without resistance. So again, it seems like a lot of you are independent. I don't see much relationship here. And that's okay. It's almost like you guys are taking space for yourself to kind of um, manifest the things that you want. I do see love, but I just see so much love for life with you guys. And again, manifesting that relationship too, having that perfect dream relationship is where you will be a year from now. Yeah, and whoever you guys are attracting a year from now, they will be on the same path as you and you guys will be abundant together. So yeah, this is what I got for deck number two. Basically, again, magic manifesting and money. One year from now, one year from now, you guys will be there manifesting and going through your spiritual awakening. You will be done going through your spiritual awakening, starting and birthing out new creative projects, awakening these gifts that you have, seeking out a teacher, investing in your mental health, investing in your spiritual growth so you can get on this path and releasing this karmic cycle, moving beyond drama and making room for good energy. So overall, this is amazing. New friends, dream relationship, and dream life. If you guys picked number two, don't forget to comment down below so I can get some comments back of encouragement. In the meantime, I'm going to move on to deck number three. All right, if you guys chose deck number three, this is your reading in Where Will You Be One Year From Now. My life is sweet. Dragonfly mermaid, you've attracted wonderful news. Wisdom as light as a feather. So a year from now, it looks like you guys have been working a lot. I see work slowing down for good so that you guys can kind of enjoy it more. And uh, gaining wisdom clarity with the owl. Let's see what else flow yeah going with the flow being open to receiving and releasing your expectations going with the flow living life enjoying life not being so serious imagination yeah envision a new reality believe in unlimited possibilities give yourself permission to dream so a year from now you guys will also be a part of the manifestation 2020 like i told all the other decks 2020 is the year of manifesting. So a year from now, you will be a lot more of a dreamer. I feel like some of you are mostly practical and you're learning more about life, but also that life is not so serious. So yeah, dance. Move your body, dance with the rhythm, manifest your dreams through dance. 
A lot of you are manifesting your dreams now. A year from now, you will have already manifested that dream. You're learning to go with the flow and to release expectations. So some of you are hard on yourself and that's my, that might be why you guys are working overworking to get there. Um, but what you're learning with the wisdom is that no matter how hard you work, your dream never sleeps. Meaning, even if you work hard, that doesn't mean that you're going to reach your dream. You're learning that. You're learning that not to be so hard on yourself. Some of you are like, I should have already been there by now. Why am I not there? And you're understanding that you just need to relax and let things happen. Go with the flow and imagine. It's more of like for you, you might be overwhelmed with a lot of things going on right now. And so a year from now, you're releasing that. You're where you want to be. But it is only because you're releasing this energy of I should have been there and going more with the flow and moving forward. Also, your guys' deck have the most cards. So it seems as if you guys have very important messages. So let's see what else is going on with you guys reflections yeah so what do you what you contemplate can actualize manifesting you guys are learning that um you overthink it you overthink how to manifest and it's also a part of fun dancing right imagining dreaming having more fun in your life um and understanding again gaining wisdom so you're on a spiritual journey right now but you're learning and gaining wisdom on how manifesting works sanctuary privacy respected boundaries so again, it's taking you guys some time to figure this out. You're learning more about yourself now. A year from now, it will make sense why you, why you had to go through all of this. So you're learning how to manifest, but also that being alone is not so bad. Some of you have codependency issues or feeling like you. it's really hard for you to be alone. And so a year from now, you will be much stronger and wiser as to Understanding that you're never alone as you're connected to source and intuition. You're never alone Falling in love. Yeah, so you guys are falling in love And so this feels like more of like a relationship to taking some time right now reflecting creating that uh, relationship that you guys want gaining wisdom and You are also looking for a breakthrough a year from now. You will have experienced that a lot of dreams coming true falling in love kissing the divine in another way in yourself some of you will be in union with your twin flame and will have found your soulmate a year from now you guys are overworking and overwhelming yourself and so a year from now it's just about embracing life and seeing life from a child perspective like the world being a big playground and um, seeing it like that will change the dynamics of the world and allow you guys to create and manifest much easier. And you're also learning that. Protection. You are protected. Cords are being cut. Move beyond limitation and trust. So a year from now, you guys will be trusting more in the divine, getting closer to spirituality. I see a lot of you just celebrating, dancing, traveling, enjoying your life. Some of you are single. You will be happy happily meeting the one and cutting these soul ties or cords. So if you guys are struggling with getting over a relationship, I do see you guys getting over that, facing fear. Yeah, so you guys could be a Leo. You don't have to be, I just say that because um, I feel Leo energy a lot here. Major spiritual changes are unfolding. This is your chance to soar. Next year, you will, you will do it. So that thing that you've been pondering, if you've been waiting to quit your job, next year you will do it. If you've been waiting to, to travel the world or go out of the country, next year you will do it. Okay, you're facing your fears and your limited beliefs and your limitations. The only thing that's holding you back, group number three, is the way that you think. Transcending. Yeah, so you guys are going through transformation right now and transcending. Rise up, honor your inner force, dance with the universe, steps are being given. If some of you are dancers, artists, or musicians, I also see you guys living more in that lifestyle. Uh, we have dance a lot, so you guys must be, again, like I said, overworking and overwhelming yourself. This is about freedom, enjoying life, going with the flow, having a good time, releasing this energy. Next year, you won't be stressed. 
You won't have to worry about anything. Everything will be in divine timing. You're taking the steps right now, uh, but you're transcending. And that's what the complication is in healing. So there still needs to be healing that's taking place. A lot of you right now are creating your reality based on who you are. So your life is a reflection of you and the way that you're thinking. Next year, you will change that. And you will understand that it is you that is reflecting and creating this reality that you're in. These are your decisions. So when you look around this world, this is exactly where you have chosen to be. And so you're learning to heal and retreat and recharge. Like I said, some of you guys are stressed out, worried, anxiety, depression. Next year, you won't have to worry about that. A year from now, you're just free. You're just you're not really stressing about anything. You're seeing that the universe will provide, things will happen for you. You don't have to worry about it. You're a lot more trusting, a lot more easygoing. This is probably why you attract your soulmate. So you have love that you will meet in a year. Some of you guys will meet your soulmate or come into union with your twin flame by that year time. But right now it's about healing and recharging and retreating, okay? So that's what the holdup is right now. Let's see where else will you guys be in a year from now. The moon card. You guys could be a Pisces. You don't have to be. My intuition guides me to the right decision. Trusting more in your intuition. That's what you're learning right now. Going with the flow. Some of you, I can feel the anxiety. I can literally feel it. And I'm letting you guys know that you can relax. It's okay. Everything is going to work out perfectly. I see where you are in a year. You're fine. You have faced your fears. You're putting the struggles behind you. A weight. It's almost like your life is like lit, like as light as a feather. It's as light as a feather. Right now, you're going through a tower moment. Um, some of you guys, because of the transcending and the healing and the, the fact that you need to recharge and heal. And it's also because you're a light to other people. And so you're learning more about yourself with the moon card. More things are coming up that you did not know about yourself. The great gathering, it's all coming together. Intuition hits, soul tribe. A lot of you are leaders or empowerers or have a message or have high expectations. A year you will be there. You will start writing the message. You will start speaking the message. You will start inspiring others. And you also are attracting your soul tribe. Some of you are looking for friends that are not on low vibration or drama. After the sanctuary moment, you will find those friends. Your soul tribe is coming. Intuition is coming as well. Um, a lot of you are learning how to tune more into your intuition. A year from now, you will be there. Protection. Wow, we have protection again. Why do you guys need so much protection? Call back your power. Cut the cords. So there is, some of you are twin flames or dealing with the twin flame or an old relationship and it's it's um it's creating this current energy that you're in currently right now and so a year from now you will be free from that you'll be released um and not that you won't be in union because most of you guys will be but you'll understand that letting go is what come is what brings twin flames into reunion and so you guys need so much protection let's see why you need so much protection okay so yeah some of you are dealing with anxiety and depression or worried about the future or how i'm gonna get there or what am i doing why am i overworking why am I, why am i overwhelmed a year from now you guys are not this person anymore so you guys are much more free and like, again, like light as a feather, not really worrying about the things that you would normally worry about. Um, yeah, the Nine of Swords, it, even if you look at this card, um, he's he has wings, but he's focused on the light, even though he's still in, in a dark place. And so you guys are still remaining hopeful, like even right now, um, having hope. Why else do you guys need protection? Ten of Cups, again, you guys are manifesting your soulmate and your twin flame, you will be happy in your relationship. Some of you guys will be, some of you guys will be um, getting engaged as well as what I hear. Seven of Wands, a lot of things going on. Friends, family, work. This is not happening in a year, guys. You won't be here in a year. You will have released this energy. Lovers again. So you guys are falling in love for real. I don't know, you guys might, um, Man, you guys are falling in love and yeah, wedding. Some of you guys are getting married or um, gonna get engaged to in a year. Some of you guys are getting engaged to. 
<sighs> yeah, that makes sense. Wow, lovers, ten of cups, falling in love, and ten of pentacles. This is stable. This is someone who wants to start a family um, or wants to um, expand on the family and marriage and financial stability. So if you guys are worried about that, next year you will be very financially secure. That's not something you have to worry about either. The magician, so you guys are manifesting as well. So like I said already, with all of these decks um, and all the elephants today, it's all so about manifesting. It could have been the elephant stones, who knows? But you guys are manifesting infinite potential, infinite um, potential or possibilities and opportunities. You just got to relax more. Things are happening. The hermit, you guys could be in sanctuary. We have the hermit and we also have sanctuary. So you guys could be a Virgo. You don't have to be, but I'm just um, giving out some signs that I'm picking up on. You're learning how to follow your own path, not to let other people persuade you and releasing this need to be validated or living for other people. A year from now, you're on your own path, you're happy, you're in love, you're expanding on your family, uh, finances are coming in, your intuition is there, you now have a soul family, a soul tribe, a spiritual family. I trust whatever the universe brings. So that's what you guys are working on right now is going through this transformation of trust. You guys have protection. You've been through a lot and a lot of people have hurt you. And so you do have protection and there is needing divine healing. Right now you're going through a transformation, a year you will be done. Some of you will be done before the year, so don't freak out like, oh my God, a whole year. No, some of you guys will be there before the year, but in the year, I see you guys following your own path, manifesting, and the will of fortune, new beginnings, new cycles, traveling, moving, building that family. The ever unfolding rose cracked open. It's happening for you and not to you. Like I said, some of you guys are going through hardships and you're like, why is this happening? It's to get you to this place that I'm pronouncing to you guys a year from now. You're working on that path to getting there. And so you're ever unfolding like the rose, ever unfolding. So the universe is not working against you. Everything is working for the benefit and to manifest the desires that you guys want. Yes, just say yes. Go after what you want. In a year, you guys would have already done that. Going after the things that you truly want. But saying yes to yourself. Okay? So you're attracting a breakthrough. Good news. Facing your fears. Page of Swords. I take care of the detail and stay in control. I see the truth in this ending. Six of Swords. I know that peaceful times will come. You guys have been really going through it this year um in love confusion in love finances we only have one um but mentally you guys will be on a much more peaceful journey i just feel peace peace happiness love and also wisdom of understanding why it is that you guys went through so many things you're ending relationships to attract this so if you guys are wondering why the hell things have been so hard, why I can't let go of this person, seeing the truth in this ending, taking care of detail, staying in control, and knowing that peaceful times will come, this is all mental clarity that you guys are gaining right now. That's the troublesome area. So this is happening for you and not to you. So financial sta stability, a, um, a love, you guys are releasing this now so that you can come into union with your twin flame, releasing anxiety, depression, understanding that you're protected, attracting better friends, going with the flow, surrender the outcome, release your expectations. That's what you guys are learning on. You have so many high standards for yourself. Well, in a year, you all, you're already there. So your future self, like I always tell you guys, is there at the finish line, welcoming you on, cheering you on. So. If you guys are lost right now, I just feel like knowing that peaceful times will come and knowing that a year from now you are in a better place, okay? You will, everything will make sense a year from now. You're going on your own path of sanctuary. You're leaving some people behind. It could be very hard, but you're facing these fears so that you can get everything that you desire in a year. <sighs> All right, guys, this is deck number three. Don't forget to comment down below so I can get some encouraging comments back to you guys. Keep up the good work and stay in the energy of dancing. Enjoy life. Don't take it so seriously and trust in the universe and your higher self. 
All right, I'm gonna move on to the last deck, deck number four. All right, if you guys chose deck number four, this is your reading and where will you be one year from now? Fiona and the Unicorn, the gift of sacred sight. You can achieve great things. Awareness. Cycles. So it appears to me, deck number four, you guys are also going through hardships. It seems relatively in unison, the, all the decks and where you guys are currently at. Some of you have visions of where you want to be and what your future looks like and you're anxious to know that you're breaking free from cycles right now and living in the moment not having any expectations and allowing signs and guidance to guide you there um some of you are just doubting where you will be so let's see in a sense take time to play nurture your inner child live with the childlike sense of wonder Forgiveness, life force, and voice of truth. Okay, that makes sense. All right, you guys are, you are, you're going through some things, some cycles, some karmic cycles, wondering also when you're going to get a breakthrough. Year of 2020 is the year of manifesting. Right now, you're on the path to getting here. Where I see you in a year is speaking up and speaking up on the things that matter to you the most, you have some doubts and limited beliefs or fears about how you're going to achieve great things. And some of you have dreams that you've already been given that you're supposed to live out. But what's hindering you is the lack of belief that you can actually do it. And so right now you guys are working on forgiveness and you're on the path of light, love and forgiveness. Father healing is possible at this time. Again, like I said, you guys have been through some things. There's some karmic cycles on your family, some karmic cycles that you're currently dealing with. And so I just feel like this path to the year is the belief for you guys, achieving and believing. And your drive a year from now is different. You're more relaxed. You're more aware. And um, you're just, you, you don't have any more fear, even the fear of persecution and speaking the truth. What will people say if I tell them that this is my perspective or my perception of the world? What will people think? A year from now, you're not gonna care. You're standing up for what you believe in and you're speaking your truth to whoever it is, your family, uh, the people that have hurt you, telepathy, nonverbal communication, mind reading, energy pulses. So some of you are in past or you pick up energy fairly quickly you have this gift of feeling, which is also a gift of intuition. So you can feel the energy, feel the vibes, things of that nature. Um, so you guys are way more in tune with your gifts a year from now. Sacrifice. Yeah. Everyone seems to be going through the same thing. Um, letting go of friends, family members, or the people who have helped you create limited beliefs that you couldn't achieve great things. Um, you're, you're doing a lot. The universe is trying to show you a path right now to getting here. Um, your friends will change. Your desires will change. The things that you thought you loved are going to change. You're realizing that some of the things that you love weren't your, your ideas. You did it for other people. And so you're learning that sacrificing. There are those worth making and there are those that will destroy you. So you're learning also where to make sacrifices in your life as far as friendships, family members, like I said, relationships, king of pentacles. I'm glad that I see that card. Rapid development, excellence, and success. Okay, there we go. So here's what's happening, guys. You're on a path to success. A year from now, you'll be extremely successful. I am sure my place in the world. The only thing that's hindering you now is knowing who you are and uh, knowing that you're worthy of more abundance in your life. Um, I am successful in all I do. So for you guys already, it's success. Success and speaking your truth. Standing up for what you believe in, not being afraid. A year from now, you're just like, I have nothing to lose. I'm, I'm getting ready to go after this, right? Two of Pentacles, you're going to have multiple opportunities when it comes to finances. And... um. 
you you guys are becoming a leader too so next year you will have you will be a leader a leader in creative projects a leader in some of you guys want to start your own business i do see you starting your own business having a, a lot more of a creative drive and expressing your driving passion three of wands i have the energy i need to realize my goals yeah way more fire energy more ambition more passion again going after what it is that you truly desire in success so it's almost like you guys in a year from now so a year from now you guys will be taking advantage of this passion in this drive a lot of you guys are speakers or educators i also feel like you guys will be healing family uh, wounds or getting closer to your father or um some of you guys have children as well so becoming a better parent understanding um that i do see that for a few of you as well three of pentacles so some of you guys will be starting your own business and you'll have a team or there's also help coming in for you guys to be financially stable i feel like there's going to be multiple opportunities a year from now and others will support you in the work that you're doing in the message that you have to share with the world eight of swords i release myself from self-inflicting binds so you guys are much more freer You've been through a lot, but you have a message. It's it's through what you've been through that has created you the ability to have a message. You've sacrificed a lot. And so next year, I do see you guys being more successful and more freer mentally, doing the things that you actually love to do and having a drive to do that. Next year, you kind of care less about what people think of you, which is something that you guys might have been struggling with. And the sun card, yes, yeah, so you guys could be a Leo. You don't have to be. The Sun card, I am optimistic and I appreciate all that I have. So you guys are going to be extremely happy next year. And some of you guys, even now, like I can feel you're like, how is that going to happen? How happy am I going to be? And, and I just feel like everything that you guys have been through is coming to an end. You guys are even now at the, the very end of this tower moment that you guys are going through. And I do see a lot of success for you boundaries where do you need to establish better boundaries so yeah new friends karmic cycles being broken you being much more happier being more free it's almost like you guys have been in a, in a cage for some time now mentally and i just see you guys getting out and and flying it's weird like a cage and bondage um and so you're learning how to set better boundaries but also learning how to love yourself and you guys also have an intuitive gift of not just feeling, but also seeing. So clairvoyance, you, so you guys could be dreaming and seeing where you want to go. But what happens is, is, is that you guys have a trouble believing in it. And that's what I mean by this mental um, cage that you guys are in. Longing for belonging, the original light worker. So yeah, you're understanding that all the dark times that you've been through a year from now, it will make sense. You are becoming a light worker. Some of you, it's weird because I'm picking up two different groups of people. Some of you, I'm just going to go in and tell you what I, what I think. You've been through a lot, but you are a speaker, an educator, and you have a voice. You're a light worker. And so that's why you guys are, that's why you guys have been going through so much, so much darkness or questioning things that have happened, it's because you're a light worker or letting go of people sacrificing. Some of you guys have lost family members to death. Um, some of you guys have also sacrificed a lot and you just want to be successful and you just want to be happy. And so I do feel like that with you guys. Um, also, you're learning that you just don't fit in and that's because you're made to stand out. So some of you do have a message to share with the world. Whether that's about unity, harmony, peace, love, happiness, whatever you feel like your truth is, a year from now you will discover it and start opening up and talking about that truth. Now, the, the other few of you guys, I don't necessarily feel uh, like you're an educator or someone who wants to stand up and speak their truth, but I feel like it's more of like standing up towards the people that have done things to you and um, forgiving them and just getting on the right path of success and happiness. So for some of you, it's just the path to happiness. Your guidance is divinely guiding you. So getting more in tune, um, allowing more of a spiritual connection. 
so you guys will be on more of a path of a spiritual connection as well yeah you guys have been through so much heartbreak it's a lot a year from now you will have already healed from this and forgiving so now you can start the process of forgiving and grieving and letting go um, in the brokenheartedness. Yeah, it's because you guys have been through a lot. You guys doubt yourself so much. You're so hard on yourself. A year from now, you'll be a leader. Yeah, and you also have love coming in. Yeah, you have love coming in for sure. Um, so some of you guys will be in relationships. And also... With the temperance, you could be a Sagittarius. You don't have to be. Um, it's it's connecting back with your spirit. You've lost yourself. <laughs> yeah, you lost yourself, group number four. You lost yourself. You sacrificed your happiness for other people. Um, and I just see you next year being such a pillar, a pillar of light, a pillar in the community, and a new relationship, a new love for yourself, uh, but also this person that's coming in, you're learning how to live in the moment and be cautious of your thoughts. A lot of you guys are, you, you're so hard on yourself the way that you talk to yourself. Be more cautious about that. A year from now, you're going to be a completely different person. You're going to be free mentally. You're going to be guided. You're going to understand that all of this time was not a waste. So some of you who are like, have I been wasting my time? No, you've been preparing for this journey. Right now you're going down that path. And being cautious of your thoughts also, some of you guys, I'm hearing meditation 10 seconds a day. Just start with the seconds because when I say minutes and hours, people freak out. I mean, thinking about meditating for that long at the first jump, that's a lot. But I feel like for you guys, it's all about reconnecting back with your spirit and also finding calmness, tranquility, and peaceness. A year from now, and water seems to be important to you guys, could be a water sign. Um, but you guys don't have to be. This is just telling me that you, you this is going to be behind you. You're working on putting this behind you right now. And um, it appears to be a sacrifice, but being optimistic and appreciating all you have, being grateful. So I see you guys looking back and, and feeling like, dang, like I've been through a lot, but I'm so glad that that's over a year from now. You guys will be in love. Some of you guys will be in relationships. A lot of you guys will have found your voice, your purpose, um, becoming a light worker having more boundaries, releasing heartbreak and pain and um, connecting more with your spirit because you guys do have gifts of intuition, gifts of seeing and feeling are the two that I pick up. Very financially stable. Some of you guys are worried about being financially stable on your own because the king of pentacles is a leader. No more depending. You will create your own financial stream of abundance for yourself a year from now. And you're releasing yourself from slavery, bondage, imprisonment. Um, and so, yeah, you guys are on the right path, um, forgiving, letting go of that stuff a year from now, you're not carrying this big bag of baggage and stress and worry. You're free. You're living your life. Um, you're very happy with the sun card. There's so much love. There's a new relationship, not just with another person, but with yourself. And also last but not least, seeing life from a child perspective, not taking it so seriously. You will be so free. Again, when I say seeing life as a child is seeing the world as a big playground, a big sandbox, understanding that this world that we that has been created for us has been programmed. You guys are breaking free from that and understanding I can create my own world. I can create my own destiny and I'm going to do that. You guys are becoming leaders. You're more aware. You're understanding that you can achieve anything. You're manifesting things. You're breaking free from cycles a year from now. You're breaking free from heartbreak a year from now. You're building your own company. You're financially stable a year from now. And you have so much energy a year from now. So this looks amazing for you guys, deck number four. If you have chosen deck number four, don't forget to comment down below. Um, as I'd like to get some comments of encouragement back to you guys. So right now you're on the path of releasing. And so you're working on this so that you can get to this place of happiness, financial stability, and love. Love for yourself, love for life, most importantly. So if you guys have tuned into this Pick a Card reading, thank you so much for you guys tuning in. Don't forget to like this video. And I will see you guys in the next Pick a Card reading. Love and light to you all.